Welcome into the TVL Rundown. Joined with Jeff Wirtz of the TVL Spotlight. This is Max Blasky, KNDY Radio. Jeff, it is League Track Week. It is League Golf 2 as well. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. League Track is coming up on Thursday. What are a few names or events that you've got your eye on? Let's start with the ladies and the hurdle events. You're going to see some of the best hurdlers in the area coming up on Thursday at the TVL track meet. Some of the names, Eddie Gagel of Washington County, Kylie Smith of Axtell, Tessa Parthamer of Frankfurt. Was it the NASCAR race earlier this weekend that was like .001 second differential? That's what you're going to get in all of the speed races. You're going to get the tightest finishes that you possibly can. And sticking with the girls, too, not to be outdone, but on the field events, I think there's a few names we need to keep an eye on, too, as well. In the jumps, especially, Shea and Sebi Wirtz of Clifton Clyde, Brooke Porter from Valley Heights, and then the Lilies. Lily Richard of Washington County and Lily Weiser of Onega. Lily Richard, the other day at Mankato, vaulted 10 feet 8 inches. Pole vault isn't necessarily everybody's event, but man, is it fun to watch when we get the right vaulters in there. But not to be outdone, there's going to be some relay teams on the boys like the Axel Eagles, Clifton Clyde Eagles, Valley Heights Mustangs, just to name a few, Jeff, that I think we want to keep an eye on too coming up on Thursday. A couple of weeks ago at Washington, both the 4x4 and 4x1 races were decided by right around three seconds from spots one to three. Look out for that Valley Heights team. I really enjoy watching them, and I think they've gotten stronger all year long. Now, where is TVL track coming up again at Jeff? And I think we've already had one schedule change for the week, and that was TVL golf this Friday too, correct? Well, TVL track, we look forward to that at Valley Heights coming up on Thursday. But TVL Golf also going on at Valley Heights, now rescheduled to Friday morning at 10 a.m., that at the Waterville Golf Course. So Valley Heights right now putting in a lot of work to help out the Twin Valley League. Dodging those raindrops, it seems to be all the time this time of year. And last one here, but baseball gets underway with regionals on Thursday, too, as well. Looking at it, Onega squares off with Blue Valley, while Frankfurt and Centralia take on Valley Heights that Thursday. What's one of those four teams to keep your eye on here this week? It can't be outshadowed, the Onega Buffaloes. 14-4 and four on the season. That's going to be a tough game. For Blue Valley, Onega right now is just playing some great baseball. But I really look forward to that frankfurt Centralia Valley Heights game. I think you're going to see a very balanced game there. You're going to see a lot of runs. Again, a full week. Catch everything at the TVL Sports Spotlight or with KNDY Radio. For Jeff Wirtz, this is Max Blasky on the TVL Rundown. We'll see you next week.